Welcome back to another episode of the Youth Academy Career Mode here with Wakefield. We are currently sitting second in League One after a decent bit of play. Now, I doubt we are going to be able to catch up to Sheffield Wednesday. They have only lost one game this entire season. It's absolutely insane for them. It's a 13-point gap from us and them. They are just running away with it. We are only one point ahead of both Charlton Athletic and Barnsley. Only three points ahead of our first game here against Morecambe. We are in the January transfer window, and we not necessarily are looking to make any moves. We might make some departures, though. We have Morecambe, Stoke City in the FA Cup. We definitely play that, try and make an upset, a cup set. Derby, Barnsley, and Plymouth Argyle all in the league, as well as far as our board objectives. Obviously, we are second in the league. We have five clean sheets in the league. I'm doing it in the league. I hope I've been doing it in the league. But five clean sheets in the league for Evans. Obviously, still six out of 11 on our all 11 players scoring or getting an assist. Actually, has Evan picked up an assist? That's actually important. Evans has picked up an assist. So that is Evans actually done. So we are technically on seven out of 11 for Evans he got an assist that can be AI generated and obviously majority is AI generated so that's that Hoffman is the league top goal scorer with 23 goals in the league 29 total at the moment we have not one manager month yet still somehow still and we have went three for three obviously on the last objective in which we are fully complete we are going to go ahead and kick the episode here against Morecambe away from home. And both teams are looking incredibly tired. And let's kick this game off here against Morecambe. Layered out on the flank already. Getting tackled, getting fouled. Can I get that called back? I can. An opportunity for us to get a goal here with either center back or a left back now how tall these guys aren't tall at all 511 and 511 petite me and for right amados back for crowley back for motos back for crowley and now young evans just doesn't try and save it at all it's kind of a statue there and more combi come on the counter attack and they take the lead Rowe intercepts after a poor pass, and Rowe might be in behind now. Rowe, he's going to have to try and find Laird. He doesn't. Young, Parker, Fisher. Fisher finds the back, and then it's 1 1. Rowe into Hoffman. Hoffman in for Parker. Parker in for Laird, and Laird on his left foot, Laird, and we turn the game around quickly. It's 2-1 now for Wakefield. Get up the field quickly, in for Parker. It's a beautiful ball from Evans. Now finding Hoffman. Hoffman got to try and take this on his weaker foot. Hoffman, Hoffman, he has no weak foot. It's 3-1, and a two-goal gap in between us and Morecambe. That might be good enough to do it. It's 3-1 here against Morecambe, and we are possibly putting a six-point gap in between us. Well, here it is again. Well, the final whistle in for Fisher. Fisher in for Laird. It's a beautiful ball. Laird on the shot. That's a beautiful goal from Laird, and it's 4-1 here for Wakefield. Keeper gets chipped. Crowley in for Hunter. I mean, clean sheet's already gone. The game's already gone. So it doesn't really matter what happened here. Gibson was offside, and that's game over. A 4-1 win to kick things off here this episode against Morecambe, putting a six-point gap in between us in a playoff race as well. Mason Hawkins and Jaden Reynolds all come back on loan. Their loan deals have actually expired, and we have a scout report here. And it's actually the last one from all three of these nations besides England, so really two. Netherlands, can you send me off with an absolute banger? No. England, can you? No. But we will be going back to England for sure already. Spain, 65, 425K, that's good enough. And again, back-to-back, -back, absolute dumps. And we will send them back out on for one more three-month cycle. 
Oh yeah, I should not be expecting anything from England. I just realized that. We are going to go ahead and go to Denmark. Why not? And then we are going to go ahead and go to... Do we go to Poland or Switzerland? Have we been to Germany yet? I don't think we've actually been to Germany yet. Let's go to Germany for three months. Stoke City in the FA Cup. And we have made the switch to Petit going as center back now. Jensen's coming in for his spot at center mid. Hoffman, Laird, Parker, Rowe, Young, Petit, Gormley, Evans, Evans, Fisher, Jensen. Let's get into it. Let's see if we can upset a championship side team here. I really want to play a Prem team in the FA Cup this season, to be honest. I kind of want to just get that experience. Sure. Jansen now. Jansen will take a crack at it. Jansen will find the back of the net. The now club captain for the team. He takes the lead. It's 1-0 for Wakefield. And what should have been multiple goals before that, Jansen gets probably the hardest one off. And it's 1-0 here for Wayfield against well, championship side Stoke defender. City. And it is going to be Petit to put the header in. And Petit finds the back of net. And it's 2-0 going into the break. And that will count for a center back goal as well. Technically, he is now playing at center back. He is fully a center back now, and he finds the back of the net. Petit clears Hoffman. He finds him. That's a beautiful ball. The defender stabbed at it, and Hoffman's in behind. Hoffman can triple the lead here, and Hoffman will do so. 3-0 against Stoke City. We are an absolute dream lane here against Stoke City. In fact, we are going to go ahead and jump to a result. It's a 5-0 thrashing against Stoke City. And Kirk Wright is leaving the club. He wanted a move. We finally allow it to solicitate. And he is out of the club now. Actually, I think it was for 6.8 mil. Something like that. He is on his way to Spezia for 68.65. It's such a weird number. But he is gone. We beat, um, I don't know who we just beat. We just beat somebody 4-1. We have now a game against Barnsley. But before that, we do have an FA Cup game against Premier League side team, Nottingham Forest. Now, they are currently sitting mid-table-ish, bottom-table-ish. They're sitting in 14th in the Premier League. So, we are going to go ahead and try and play that game and try and win that game. See if we can... Then play a top side team. Noah Collier, he wants to leave. He wants more game time. But honestly, we need a backup keeper. And he is a be beautiful backup keeper. We are going to go ahead and quick in this game against Barnsley. And two days later, play Nottingham Forest in the FA Cup. Do we win against Barnsley? We do. It takes the 80th minute winner from Hoffman. But Fisher on the score sheet pretty early. Cole equalized in the 70th, and Hoffman takes the winner 10 minutes later. And not only are we one step closer to possibly winning the league as well as just getting automatic promotion, we are one step closer to now playing a Premier League seed team here against Nottingham Forest. Top goal scorer, he has 26 goals in 29 games. That's absolutely insane. He's almost averaging a goal per game. But now, Nottingham Forest in the FA Cup Premier League side team. Let's get into it. And might in and Nottingham Forest all on the attack as they really should be and as I expected them to be. And Petit gets tackled, but it's not called for a foul somehow. Chiori tackled by Gormley. Fisher now two layered. We might be able to hit him on the counterattack. Parker, he'll lay it off for Hoffman. Nope, but he'll lay it back out wide for Rowe off of the interception. And row out wide now. Row trying to find Hoffman. Doesn't work on the first time, and he runs out of bounds on the second try. Fisher should win a header as he does. Laird now on the ball. Laird, he's going to have a crack at it because why not? That's why. And Laird takes the lead for Wakefield. Really against the runner play. And this might be our best chance to win the game. Laird with an absolute rocket. And we take the lead. It's 1-0 here against Premier League side team. Look at the curve on that. 
a beautiful goal. Well, these fans Corner coming in from Nottingham Forest. Evans heads it away. Parker can't really put it away. Might in now. Danilo. Referee blow your whistle. Referee blow your whistle. He's far away from the box. It's 1-0 at the break here against Premier League side team Nottingham Forest. And Laird will whip it back in. Fisher on the head of that time. Fisher cleared off the line. Petit on the second ball. Petit doubles the lead and Nottingham Forest are two down behind a league one side team. This is the biggest cup set I've seen for quite a while. Burns or possibly Row over the top. Did Row stay on side? He did. Does Row find the back of the net? He does. It's 3 0. And Wakefield are into the next round of the FA Cup, beating a Premier League side team. Or if they score one now, they might have an opportunity. It does go in the back of the net. Can't keep a clean sheet, but it doesn't really matter about keeping a clean sheet. Bertrand will come on for Petit just for tired legs. We have a really tired team at the moment. Hoffman out for a goal kick, and now will be game over. A 3-1 win against Nottingham Forest, and we're into the next round of the FA Cup here. Somehow. And we will end the episode off with a scouting report for the next three months to kick it off. England letting us down for the 15th month in a row. Germany row starting off a little bit rough. Nothing coming out of that. And then Denmark. I really don't expect them much out of here. And we are not getting much, if anything at all. We do not. We end the episode there. When we come back next episode, we have a tough game against Charlton Athletic in which we are three points ahead of them. We do have a game in hand. And we have two games in hand against Sheffield Wednesday in which we do win those two games in hand. We are up to 63. Would we be one point off of them? We still have them to play in the second half of this season. We could still technically win the league. We are definitely in a title race, definitely in a playoff race for sure. Definitely kind of solidifying ourselves in a playoff race. And talking about Sheffield Wednesday, we don't play them all the way until the last game of the season. That could be the one to lift the trophy. Maybe, maybe not. I will see y'all for next episode. Go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and peace out.